This video is for you if you've just signed up for Notion and you're looking to learn how to navigate the app as well as how to build your own pages yourself so you know exactly what's going on in them. What you'll need for this video is a Notion account and you can either use your browser to navigate Notion or the app. I recommend using the native app in your desktop just so that you can get the added benefits of utilizing all the shortcuts. So on the very left side of your Notion app, it's going to have three different sections within the sidebar. The very top is going to be your settings as well as your search function and any updates that you're doing within your workspace. The second section is going to be your pages and the bulk of your content. At the very bottom, it's going to give you options for templates as well as importing additional files and your trash in case you delete anything that you might have accidentally deleted in your workspace. To navigate your content, you're going to go on the left-hand side and you're going to click on one of these pages. You're going to see the contents of that page on the right-hand side as well as any subpages, and those can be accessible just by clicking the toggle down in your sidebar. Another way to create blocks is by typing the forward slash on your keyboard and it's going to automatically pop up with all of these other additional basic blocks. So you have text, page, to-do list, media like images, um, some web bookmark video, audio, code file, as well as databases. So all of these are considered new blocks. But say if you were to create an image, so I can do forward slash image, I can click on image and then upload the file. I can click on the six dots on the left side. I can click and drag it to the left of this text. And now I have a very elegant two column option for my content. So another block that is considered a block of blocks, a block of blocks, a block of blocks, is going to be databases. These six different options to create a database, table, board, list, timeline, calendar, and gallery. Let's just start with something very simple. We're gonna create a new database and then start item one, two, and three. I'm going to click on the three dots so that you can change the view of this. See all the different options like layout, properties, which are these little columns, and then ways in which you can filter, hide things, or sort so that it can rearrange different levels, and then group and sub items. But let's just go into the different views of a database. With these three items, you can view them six different ways in a table like it's displayed now, very similar to Google Sheets. As a board, which is very similar to Trello or a Kanban board, we can add in progress to this tag and it's automatically going to create another column so that you can see things that are in progress. If I add a done and I don't include it for item one, but I wanna move it to done, I can just click and drag and it's automatically set to done. And if I still want to go back and look at the table view, I still have that option as well. I would just need to press this and then you can see the same information as we did before with the new statuses. What's great about this is that this updates in real time, so if I change things on the board view, it'll automatically update on the table view. The timeline view is more like a Gantt chart, so if you're project managing or you're comparing the timelines of a multitude of projects, timeline's the way to go. But if you're looking for like more traditional calendar, you can click on this, it will also update with the same information. The list view is going to be a very basic view. I don't recommend this for anyone with, where you wanna see more than maybe more than three different properties. Basic properties for the list is good. The view is very wide, but it doesn't organize that in any way. And the last one is gallery. And what's great about this is that anything that you add in the gallery view is going to be visible in the gallery view of your database. So this picture is in item one. For item two, you can add content, like content of item two. And that's also going to update within the gallery view as well. And if your images are in there and you don't like the way it looks, like I don't, this guy's head just got cut off. I'm going to click on reposition really quickly because I can't let that stand. If you want to move things around, you can simply just drag things out of your sidebar into the page that you're in so that it's nested and, and you can toggle down and see that the database is there. You can also click on this database that was dragged into this page and click on turn into inline and then it'll automatically bring whatever you built from that database into the notion itself 
So that way you can have a view of everything that you're building. All of your blocks are visible on the page content and you'll have access to all of your information in a very nice way. If you've learned a lot from figuring out how to navigate Notion, but you're interested in learning how somebody can use it, check out this tour that I just did where I walk through my whole Notion. I will see you there.